T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and everyone, it's Leah from Kids AM, and we're so happy that you decided to join us on Space Store Live today. Um, we are going to do some painting today, and it's something new because we haven't done paint before. Um, so I'm excited to show you what I've been playing with this week. Um, we are celebrating and learning about exoplanets this week. Now, do you know what exoplanets are? Exoplanets are any planets that lie outside of our solar system. So our solar system is made up of the eight planets that we've talked about before, including our Earth, the planet we live on, and then our neighbors, Mars and Venus and Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus, right? But outside of our solar system, the ones that go around our sun, there are other galaxies out there that have thousands of other planets in them. And they have been discovered over the last few decades by telescopes that we have sent out as humans. Yeah, it's so amazing because I thought, oh, exoplanets, there must be like, I don't know, 20, 30? There's actually 4,500 that have been found and confirmed that yes, they have planetary elements to them. So they're like these huge formations of rocks and gas and such. And um, so I thought it would be fun to paint what we might think those planets might look like. One way that we can do that, you can use any medium or um, surface that you want to paint with, but I thought we, it'd be fun if we used paper bowls like this. So this is one that's pretty porous. It means that it's pretty rough on the edge and I think it adheres, the paint adheres to it pretty well. Um, if it's slippery, then paint might not stick very well. So make sure that you find a paper bowl, not plastic, but a paper bowl that um, is sort of rough and that sort of paint will stick onto pretty well. Usually the back side of the bowls will be really that kind of material and it will the, the paint will stick on okay um, so if you need something to protect your clothes then I want you to put that on too um, you can use any kind of paints craft paints that you have um, I have watercolors and then I have these paints from Ikea that are washable paints um, but anything that you have that would work I also have these really fun markers that are markers but they also you can blow through and it'll do I'll show you see this spray you blow on them and then it makes this cool sort of cloudy spray and I thought that was kind of a cool effect that we could add on something and so this is an example of one that I made earlier so I did one that was sort of green you can kind of pick whatever colors you like and make as many as you want um, I made so these two I made with watercolors so I used using this palette here so I made a red one that kind of looks Mars like and I made this one that's just green because I thought it was a pretty color um, and then earlier I did one that was blue and I used these um, water-based paints um, on these. So this is a thicker paint and it works just fine. You do want a pot of water to sort of thin anything out and to make sure your brushes are clean. And then you can just have fun with it. So let's get to it. So in my, I have this little palette uh, pack that I can use. Um, that I can mix paints on and so that's what I did. I chose some blues and um, mixed it with a little purple and white and then I was gonna make another sort of a gray color with some white. So I'm gonna squeeze this out. A little more white and a little bit of black so which I have in my this little pot here. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of the black. Make a nice gray color. I think we'll do one that's sort of like gray purple. Let's see what that looks like on this. I'll show you what it looks like. So just take your bowl and 
you can do whatever design you want. I was doing sort of these horizontal lines. Like this. And you can mix up the colors how you like. And if you find that it's a little thick, this all sort of goes thinner if you add a little water. So I dip my paintbrush in the water and then let it thin out that color and it'll spread all the way around. years it's called the Kepler telescope and it's been retired um, now but it found over 2,000 of the planets that were confirmed and found um, so most of the planets have been found by Kepler and they found ones that are earth-like so they have some sort of elements like water um, liquid that they could detect and then there's been other ones like Neptune and Uranus that are gas giants. So they kind of classify them in different groups. And so we're not really sure about how the colors matter in terms of what the planets are made of, but we do know that I think the blue ones are, there's methane, and then like Mars is iron oxide if it's reddish, then there's a good chance that there's like iron or those elements on them. Depends on what they're made of. That gives them their color and probably the way that the light hits them as well. You can make swirls. Like Jupiter has swirls and spots on it. Just be as creative as you can be. I think when we finish, they turn out really done covering the whole surface so that you don't see any more major white spots on your bowl then you can let it dry and even go over it after it dries go over it with some other little details like I could add like some white or black you know, more little stripes like that so you can make layers of the paint or even like clouds that you might imagine that are swirling over. Look at that. That looks like sort of earthy clouds, doesn't it? Oh, that turned out neat. And it's just the way that the water sort of fell on the surface. So have fun with it and um, I'd love to see what you do. I think they turned out really neat because you can choose all these different colors and just imagine what um, what they look like and you can look up online even more of the elements of different ones that have been found or artist's renditions of um, these planets and you can copy those or you can make them up yourself. So I would love to see what you've done with yours and um, you can have your parents help you post it on uh, social media like Instagram or Facebook using the hashtags KidsAM or Space Star Live. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can get more updates of when our next ones come out. See you next time. Bye.